Let's stop. Hello? Police? My name is William. I'd like to report a burglary. We have a case of suspected housebreaking over here. The occupant reported that his belongings were stolen. Okay, we'll take over from here. Thank you. Sir, can you tell me what is missing from my unit? A laptop, briefcase containing documents, my wallet with IC, cash, and bank cards. All gone. Was your main door locked before you went to sleep? Yes. I always make sure that the door is locked. I suspect someone had broken in through the window. Was your window locked? No. I'd usually shut the windows when I go to work. When I return, I'd open to ventilate the flat. Have you noticed any suspicious character loitering around lately? Not really. Do you have any suspects in mind? Suspects? No. I've dusted all key entry points and furniture in the unit. Found anything? No, only smudges. I believe the culprit might be wearing gloves. Thank you. I suspect the culprit had to hop over to the ledge, make his way to the window and climb in. Pity there was no CCTV in the flat. Have you found anything? No CCTV at the corridor either. Not even at the leaves? No. No eyewitnesses? We have interviewed residents along the common corridor. No one claimed to have seen or heard anything. It sounds similar to a case which happens in Kim Kip. There was no eyewitnesses. However, there was a CCTV recording. Come, let me show you. This CCTV image was captured at Kim Kip Avenue on April 17. A flat there was reportedly broken into, and the estimated value of the stolen item was $1,200. At 3.17 a.m., this young man was seen holding on to a bulgy dark colour bag. Now, the incident that happens in Kim Kiet and Topayu, the ammo was similar, and they all happened during pre-dawn hours. Now, 157 isn't too far from Topayo MRT station. I believe the culprit has taken the MRT. Manoj, request CCTV footage from Transcom. Putra, check with all taxi company to see any of the drivers had encountered anyone suspicious between midnight and 6 a.m. Sir, there's another HPT case reported at Pai Lebar Way. Details? It happened on May 13 at about 2.30 a.m. The affected flat was one level above the void deck, just like the one at Topayo. It sounds like a pattern emerging. Any CCTV? No. Sir, I have CCTV footage from Topayo MRT station. Good, let's do it. It looks like the young man at Kim Kiet. There's a strong resemblance especially the hair. Any other footage? This is the only one. He could have taken a taxi. Putra, what did you find? A taxi driver has reported that he picked up a suspicious young man on Friday morning at the vicinity of Lorong 4, Topayo. It was about 3.30 a.m. in the morning when I picked him up along Topayo Lorong 4. Can you describe this person? He was medium built, uh, a young Malay chap, hair dye blonde. Was he carrying anything? He was carrying some sort of a bag and he was panting. Where do you want to go? Vendemir. Okay. Where exactly in Vendemir Road did you drop him? Near the food centre. Anything else you can tell me about this passenger? Well, he was very quiet. Did he give you any trouble? No sir, he didn't. When we reached Vendemir, he paid his fare and left. The culprit might try to sell the stolen handphones. We shall visit second handphone shops as well as other retail outlets in the vicinity. I'm Senior Investigation Officer Lim from Tangling Police Division HQ. We are investigating a case of housebreaking with theft. Have you seen this person before? No, I haven't. Are you sure? Yes, and I don't think I could miss anyone with such a hairdo. Can we go through our transaction records?
Please call us if you were to see anyone who looks like him. Sure. Hi, I'm Investigation Officer Mohamed Muzamil from Tanglin Police Division. We are currently investigating into a case of housebreaking and theft. Okay. Have you seen this person before? No, I never. I think I've seen him before passing by my shop. When was the last time you saw him? Um, a few days ago. Have you seen him again after that? I think I haven't. Do call us if you've seen anyone who looks like him. Okay. I'm Senior Investigation Officer Lim from Tangling Police Division HQ. Have you seen this person before? I don't remember, I'm sorry. We have many customers coming and going. Mind if you were to check your CCTV recordings? Shouldn't be a problem. Let me inform my manager. Could he be living in Benimir? A few claim to have seen him, but none could tell his name. If he doesn't live in Bendemia, so what is he doing there? Sir, there are two more cases of HBT reported at Sims Drive and another at Upper Bunking Road. All three happened one after another during the pre-dawn hours on 18 May. And all three have the same MO. Any CCTV or eyewitnesses? None. As for eyewitnesses, we are still appealing. All right. Follow up on those cases. We could be dealing with a common culprit. Sure. What's that? Dear, I think there's a noise outside. I better go and take a look. Yeah. Go and call the police. I'll go and see if anything's missing. Hello, police? Someone has broken into my flat. Mr. Pang, can you tell me what's missing from your flat? Two laptops from my study. Uh, my wife's handbag containing her IC, bank cards, uh, her purse, a pair of sunglasses, and, and my iPhone. Did you lock the door and security gate? Yes, I did. We always lock our door and gate every night before we sleep. Did you close the windows? No, I didn't. I should have. And maybe I should have installed a CCTV system. This was taken at Boon Keng MRT Station. Does he look like our suspect? Compare that to the one from Topayo. Would you be able to confirm that you have cut this person's hair? Oh, yes. His hair was blonde and long when he first came. Do you know his name? <laughs> he didn't tell me. Does he tell you anything about himself, his friends, or where he lives? <laughs> never, never. Uh, in fact, when I was cutting his hair, he didn't talk much. Okay. Thank you. Sir, three of the stolen handphones we found my phone application installed by the owners have been traced to Benamir. Great. Let's hold a case conference now. Gentlemen, we recognize the suspect, but we have yet to know his name. Though we do not know where he stays, however, we know he hangs around in Bentimia, which is where we are going. There, we'll lay an ambush to catch him. Bravo, report over. Negative, over. Roger. Keep look. Charlie, report over. Uh, negative so far. Look, Charlie, is everything okay over? Sorry, Tango spotted. I repeat, Tango spotted and approaching to block 31. Police, stop! I'm Senior Investigation Officer Lim from Tangling Police Division HQ. Mozambia, please. Are 
Okay, Mohamed Feroz. Yeah. Mohamed Feroz, you are placed under arrest on suspicion of housebreaking and theft. Baby, handcuff him. But I didn't do anything. So why are you doing around and bending me at this hour? I stay here. This ho? I stay in a rented flat. Can you take us to your flat now? Let's go. Is this your house? Is that mail? Check the kitchen. One notch. Check the bed. So, laptop, cash. Are these yours? Are these yours? Abby, seize the property. Take him out. On May 17, did you break into the flat in Lorong 1 to buy? Yes. Can you tell me how you broke into the flat? Did you break into the flat in Bishan Street 22? Yes, I did. Did you strike? I went to Tampines. Stolen items? I tried to sell them. Obviously, you didn't sell everything. No. What did you do with those you didn't sell? I kept them. Tell me, you broke into people's flat to steal what belongs to them. Do you think it's right? No. Muhammad Farouz bin Abdul Malik was charged with 15 counts of housebreaking and theft and one count of fraudulent possession of property. He was found guilty of all charges and sentenced to three years reformative training. Striking HDB flats at Topayo, Bishan, Wampo and Tampanese 
Walmart Pharaohs have reportedly stolen more than $30,000 worth of valuables. The victims were discovered that their homes were broken into and ransacked upon waking up in the morning or after returning home from work. On-scene investigations revealed that the culprit had gained entry through unsecured doors and windows. Senior Investigation Officer Lim Keng Tiong and his team of officers on the Property Offender Squad of Tanglin Police Division conducted extensive ground inquiries, considered possible escape routes by the culprit, and activated phone tracing software installed on the victim's smartphones as part of their investigative follow-up. The taxi driver also came forward to provide crucial information as to where he had picked up and dropped off the suspect. After viewing numerous CCTV footage obtained from MRT stations, town councils and retail outlets, the team narrowed in on a single suspect behind the series of housebreaking at various HDB premises and established what he looked like. Armed with all this information, an ambush was planned and carried out. Less than 10 days after the cases were reported, Mohamed Ferros was arrested at Bendimir Road. To protect yourself against housebreaking and theft, the police would like to advise home occupants to adopt these crime prevention measures. Ensure that all doors, windows and other openings are well secured with good quality grills and closed shackled padlocks. Secure all doors and window grills before retiring to bed or when leaving your home unattended, even for a short while. Install a burglar alarm, sensor light and CCTVs to cover the access points into your premises. Ensure they are regularly tested and that they are in good working condition. Do not leave valuables such as cash and handphones or house keys near the sliding window or at places which might be within reach of outsiders. All cash, jewelries, and valuable items should be kept in a bank or in a good quality safe that is anchored to the wall or floor to prevent the safe from being carted away. Download phone tracing software to safeguard your handphone and laptop. Should the devices be lost or stolen, you may activate the software to track them. Secure all doors and windows before retiring to bed or when leaving your house unattended, even if it is for a short while. If you are going away for a prolonged period, suspend newspaper subscription and arrange for someone to clear mails and check on your homes regularly. The community can also play a part to fight crime through active participation in neighbourhood watch groups and citizen on patrol initiatives to safeguard the safety and security of the neighbourhoods. After the break, tips on how to protect yourself and your loved ones during the festive season. The festive season is here again. Whether you're shopping for festive goodies or simply soaking in the festive atmosphere with family and friends, it's important that you know how to protect yourself and your loved ones from acts of crime. Do not leave your handbag, wallet or mobile phone unattended in public places, such as on a table at eateries or in a shopping trolley. Avoid placing your wallet in your back pocket. Sling your handbag in front of you. Ensure that it is fastened or zipped at all times. Also, avoid carrying large amounts of cash with you. Have someone to accompany you when you are withdrawing large amounts of cash at the ATM. Be wary of strangers loitering around the ATM when making a withdrawal. Conceal your notes quickly before leaving the ATM. We all love our children, so for their safety, refrain from adorning them with excessive jewellery as they are easy targets for criminals. Criminals may strike to commit outrage or modesty in both crowded and quiet places. Especially for the ladies, there are ways to protect yourself. Be alert to your surroundings. Where possible, move away should a stranger stand or sit unusually close to you. If you suspect you are being followed, stay calm and go to the nearest crowded area. You may also call the police for help. As much as possible, move around in groups and stay close to your friends. You should also avoid walking through secluded areas alone. If you are going home late at night, have someone escort you. There will be more shoppers than usual during the festive period. Large crowds may provide opportunities for theft or even outrage of modesty. Be vigilant and take preventive measures. Should your modesty be outraged, don't be a silent victim. Shout for help and make a police report as soon as possible. Finally, I wish one and all a safe and joyous holiday season. We've come to the end of this season of Crime Watch. If you have any feedback, do feel free to drop us an email. Till we meet again next year, I'm DSP Julius Lim, signing off.